Now then, we'll soon know who's going to earn the most money and get the chance at the $1,000 question. George, who's leading so far? Well, the housewife and the gym instructor have $175. And here's our final couple, Groucho. They've been in a waiting room off stage, so they don't know the secret word is floor. Okay, boys, bring them in. Just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected a merchant seaman, Glenn Sweedy, and for his partner, a long-distance truck driver, Wayne Royster. And here they come. Gentlemen, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, welcome, men, to the Elgin American Show. And if either of you say the secret word, you'll each win a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector. It's a common word, something you'll find around the house. Mr. Royster? Gurin Royster, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, what is that going there? What kind of a name is that? Uh, uh... Oh, I believe you'll find that's almost Spanish. Almost Spanish? Yes, sir. What do you mean, almost Spanish? Like Mexican? It could be close to that, yes, sir. <laughs> and a uh, right hand is a uh, what? A Something French. like a hand? Huh? Huh? A French, I believe. <laughs> French. French right there, huh? <laughs> That's a Santa Clara, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Royster, enough of this unfunny stuff about your name. You're a truck driver, eh? Uh, what do you drive? I drive a truck. That's <laughs> a silly question. You get a silly answer. <laughs> what kind of a truck, Mr. Royster? A uh, semi-truck. A semi-truck? Yes, sir. What is a semi-truck? Uh, that's a... Half com- semi and half truck? <laughs> uh, that's a combination of... Uh, Body and a, and a tractor. Hmm. Well, I've been a tractor to many bodies, am I? <laughs> and how big is your truck? Uh, well, my truck uh, has uh, 18 wheels, five axles. It's uh, 52 feet long, 12 and a half feet high, has 35 foot of load space, carries uh, 20 ton of cargo. Diesel? Yes, sir. Diesel. Think of the road, good <laughs> Now, Seaman, uh, uh, Schweed, is he on there? Schweed? Sweetie. Sweetie, huh? Eh? Oh, sweetie, huh? Eh? That's it. Mm. You can come ashore now. Uh, <laughs> what company do you work for, uh, Glenn? Well, I work uh, for various companies. Uh, like in the Merchant Marines, now you can uh, take one ship for one company, and uh, when you come in, you get off it, and uh, you can change to another company. I couldn't uh, mm. name any specific company. And what kind of ships do you usually work on? Well, I usually work on tankers, carrying gas and oil, Different kinds of fuel. Pretty dangerous, isn't it? Well, uh, I haven't found it dangerous. A lot of smoke on it? Uh, you can smoke after the stack. After but, the uh, stack? What do you mean? Uh, you mean you play poker on this thing? <laughs> Why, well, we play a lot of poker. Oh. Uh, My Uncle Julius is very nautical. He's been working on a schooner for about three weeks now. <laughs> uh, Stephen, uh, are you married? Uh, no, I'm not married. Does your ship have a mate? Yes, uh, two or three mates. Do you have any girlfriends? Yes, I have uh, a couple of girlfriends. Couple. Uh-huh. Truck driver, uh, how many girlfriends do you have? Uh, only the one I'm married to. <laughs> Truck driver has one, the sailor has two. <laughs> Paul Revere was right. One by land and two by sea. <laughs> Now, tell me, Porthole, why aren't you, uh, why aren't you married? Well, I've just never been in port long enough to uh, really get serious about any girl. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm always shipping out all the time. And uh, do you have a girl in every port? No. Do you have some port in every girl? <laughs> well, uh, no. No. Why not? I thought all sailors had girls in every port. Well, I haven't been in every port. <laughs> Trimming my sail day, you old sly old sea dog. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you men here tonight, and for each of you, we have Elgin American Silver Finish Cigarette Case. Thank How do you, you like them, Jen? Thank you. Well, you like them? That's really nice. No, I'm glad you... <laughs> you get them back. You get them back. <laughs> Now, uh, truck driver, let's be land lovers for a moment. Uh, just what do you do on your job? Uh, drive a truck. <laughs> Must be a pretty long trip, huh? 
I mean, what do you do specifically? Oh, I come down to the yard where we are located. And, uh, take, come out and see this truck's all set up. I check it all over to see that everything on it's all right. How many wheels did you say? Well, it has 18 wheels. You have to check every one of those? Yes, wheels? sir. Put down uh, to see that there is air in every one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then I get in this truck and jam a few gears and go about 50 miles. Get out and check it all over again. Well, this time there's a long stream of cars in back you. <laughs> no doubt. You check it every 50 miles? Yes, sir. I check it every 50 miles until I complete my trip. And is it true that where the truck drivers stop for lunch is always the best place to eat? Or is that just a legend? Oh, I believe you'll find that's a legend. A legend. But you get poisoned just the same as the <laughs> pleasure cars? Huh? That's true. Yeah. What's the longest haul you ever made? Oh, some four or five hundred miles. And what kind of a load were you carrying? <laughs> dynamite. You were carrying dynamite? Yes, sir. <laughs> My Uncle Julius carried a load once for three weeks. <laughs> And he saw the snake bed, and he wasn't even in the theater. <laughs> what are you doing with this dynamite? You getting ready to blow up the uh, pharaohs? Oh, that's an international secret. Huh? That's an international secret. It's an international secret, yes, this dynamite? Yes, sir. Well, you can tell me. I won't tell me that. <laughs> you weren't going to blow your top or anything. <laughs> Now, Seaweed, just what are your duties? Well, uh, what are your duties as a seaman? Oh, uh, pitch ships and look out. You paint the ship? I uh, help paint ships. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, well, just so, uh, kind of a general flunky around the place. I mean, as ordinary seaman, that's my uh, rating. You sort of a... Carry the coffee pot to the mate. Uh, you know, keep things nice around the ship. Mm -hmm. Uh, you ever make a mistake and bring them paint instead of coffee? <laughs> no, can't they distinguish between them? Well, some of them can't. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, now, uh, what happens after you paint the ship? Can you start painting it all over again? That's right. It's about ready for it because they uh, rest very easy. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as you get through, uh, you start on the forecastle head and work aft, and uh, by the time you get aft, the forecastle head is rusty again. <laughs> Yes, that focus on head is always right. <laughs> well, what do you do in your leisure time aboard the ship? Oh, uh, play poker. I mean, uh, I lay in your bunk and read books. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you read? I just generally take it easy and mm talk. -hmm. What do you read? 20 years before the mass? Uh, uh, well, I do. Uh, around the world in 80 days? And strange enough, I do. I, I read 20,000 leagues under the sea? No, well, not that one. No, no that's, not. Uh -uh. that's pretty corny. That's so. getting a little too far. <laughs> Now, uh, why do they refer to a ship as a she? Mm. Well, I'll tell you, the fellows kind of have a story about uh, referring to a ship as a she. They, they, uh, they like the boat, is that Well, they refer to it uh, that uh, she needs a lot of paint all the time, I mean, you know, like a woman. And uh, always looking for a boy whenever it comes in the port. Whenever she comes in the port. <laughs> Well, I thought it was because the ship shows off the better advantage in the stiff breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get seasick, uh, Barnacle Bill? And occasionally I get seasick. You do, huh? And what's a good cure for seasickness? Well, I Santa Fe uh, cheap? Huh? <laughs> better time. Huh? I've never what's really a good cure? Is there a good cure? Because I'm going to go to the east. Well, I'm well, well, I have a over there, and I don't want to get he too, over that uh, focus a little. <laughs> well, uh, you know, once... Pardon me, just a moment. Uh -huh. I'm not a very good sailor in addition to my other deficiencies. Some years ago, I went to Hawaii, and the boat was down here at Wilmington, uh -huh. and it was, the boat was crowded. And I got on the boat, and there was a big crowd on the pier there, waving to these people up there, and throwing all kinds of confetti and flowers and everything. Now, the boat hadn't pulled up anchor yet, and I was over the other rail throwing up. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm any John Paul Jones or anything. <laughs> now, I have a very good cure that I recently found for seasickness. Just before the boat sails, drink a quart of milk, two raw, two raw eggs, 
and then quickly jump back on the dock and stay there. <laughs> Have you found any surefire cure for seasickness? No, I just, uh... Is it true that even the captain of the little ships get sick after many voyages? I guess it's true. You do. Mm-hmm. That is, wouldn't be from the coffee you bring him, huh? No, that just all depends on the port you hit. Oh. Now, truck driver, what's the most trouble you have with motorists? All stargazing along the highway. There's no cheese. Generally, no cheese. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smooching, too. Do you have a picture, a pickup uh, hitchhiker? Huh? Well, we're not allowed to. You notice he doesn't say, uh, what if they have beautiful legs? Oh, well, we're not allowed to. <laughs> you notice he doesn't say he doesn't pick them up. He just says he's not allowed to. Huh? By the way, what do you do, uh, uh, Mr. Reuter? <laughs> I drive a truck. <laughs> You're stuck in the same gear, eh? You ought to have your oil changed, Mr. Wright. Now, Seaman, on your ship, do you ever pick up any hitchhikers? Well, once we were in the uh, channel, we picked up a hitchhiker. A stowaway, eh? Well, no, it was uh, one of the boys' uh, girlfriends. Girlfriend? Uh-huh. It was a Chinese girl. We picked her up, and he kept her in the folks all the time. He kept her in the folks all the time? Yeah, I mean, he hit her. He didn't let anybody know about it. What do you mean? He hit her with what, huh? Uh, he hit, hit her. Oh, he hit her, huh? My oh, well, that's my, my ear. <laughs> now, as a merchant seaman, uh, what was your most exciting experience? Oh, the most exciting experience is a heavy storm in the China Sea, mm-hmm. where... Uh, and the dawn comes up like thunder, is that true? Well, you could, I'd like to describe it that way if I could. Well, I'll just uh, do it, huh? Well, I'm sure you can do a much better job than I could. <laughs> Since I'm not Kipling, huh? <laughs> Although I had him for breakfast. <laughs> this is, uh, one night, especially when I realized it was really a storm, I was coming forward with a coffee pot for the mate, and, uh, <laughs> helped him out. You two must have been very happy together. <laughs> And, uh, we, we didn't have any catwalk on the ship. You didn't have any catwalk? Mm. What about this girl down below, huh? <laughs> it's a different ship. Oh, that was a different ship. Uh-huh. And? So I was coming forward to the coffee pot, and just about that time, the big wave came over, and I was halfway between midships and aft. And, uh, this heavy wave came over and took the coffee pot out of my hand and brushed me right up against the rail. I mean, it left me hanging over the side of the rail. So I was awful scared Scared to death. And? And I just hung there until the ship righted itself, and I uh, popped up on deck again. And the coffee? <laughs> the coffee was gone. Uh-huh. Left. Well, uh, the truck driver, tell me, what was your most exciting experience? Well, I believe the most exciting experience I've ever had was with a truck. Uh... <laughs> What is your occupation, Mr. Royce? I'm a truck driver. Uh, what, what happened? I was uh, driving this truck, and uh, <laughs> the exhaust pipe came loose from the manifold, swung around and burned the brake holes into it, which I wasn't aware of, and I had this big, heavy load of steel traveling along the road and came to a hill and started to make an application for slow down and truck wouldn't slow down. Did you you write out this application? (laughs) (laughs) He tracked it again to gain speed. And? And about that time, I I began to get worse scared. And it was very fortunate that there was no automobiles or anything in the road. I was able to guide the truck on down the hill and bring it to a safe landing. And what became of the coffee? (laughs) I left it on the hill. Now, Admiral Nimitz, uh, what are some of the ports? <laughs> what are some of the ports you visited? Oh, Shanghai, uh, Saipan, Honolulu, uh, Aden. Mm-hmm. Have you been all over the world? I've been two times around the world. No, it's pretty good. Is it true the world is round? Well, uh, I believe that's right. Well, if it wasn't for the United States, the world would be flat today. You know. <laughs> Well, you make a very moving couple. Now, let's see how... 